Afternoon everybody, uh, this is a, a quick video on a recent purchase of mine, uh, it's a Workmate, um, it's called the Challenge Extreme, um, it was bought from Argos for $19.99, a very cheap device, um, I'm just going to do an overall review of the Workmate as standard, um, I hope you all don't mind the uh, dog by my favourite friend here, who will be in the video, I'm sure. Hey, hello, BB. Say hello. All right. So, the Workmate as standard um, is okay. It's not too bad. Um, I don't really see it, anything else other than something to grip stuff on, really. So, in actual sense, it's just a, it's just a vice, really. Um, it obviously comes with um, some dogs to clamp your um, wood or whatever you want. You want you want a vice. Um, it comes with four of these. Uh, so the problem I have with the workmate is basically the working surface is not really big enough. Really, it's quite small. And I find that the toggles make an imprint on your wood when you uh, clamp it down. Also, if you need it to be um, tighter, the toggles seem to come out and move upwards. So, um, I've made a few modifications to this after watching a few videos on YouTube of other people's designs. So, I'm going to get right into it. Um, the first idea of mine to protect the product I'm going to grip is that I bought some beading with a bit of ledge on it 99p for 1.8 meters and I've stuck some um, door seal on the side of it so all those do is all these do is just sit on the end there I'm going to clamp it, it's a bit squeaky, 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 oh, it's a bit of a fail there, that fell off, a bit of an une uneven surface this uh, floor, so that's not a problem, but once clamped, the weather strip, should protect your product. And in terms of storing these away, I don't really want to be looking for them if I need them at any point. So what I've done is I've designed two hooks using an old shelf, using an old shelf hook. So there's one there and there's one on the other side and it'll basically just sit in there quite securely like that um, I've also added a power point using this 4 gang again it didn't cost me anything because I've got these lying around as spare just basically putting two screws through the metal and behind that area I'll put a piece of wood with a little bit of um, with a zip tie that will secure the cable once I've used it. So I'll just put this back on here. Now for the working surface, I decided to get a bit of hardboard, which I got for free. And I've just screwed in some 2x4 through the middle with a couple of notches to go over the bar in the middle of the workmate. So I'm just going to show you how that works. Get that up to uh, the camera. Camera down.
So basically that will connect into the middle and it will just sit on this bar here. It's a bit dark under there. And basically I'll just clamp it in the middle. I mean the handles do hit the wood here but I'm not too concerned because after about two two turns it's tight. Okay that's quite tight now. It's very sturdy. So that's a bigger surface to work on. Phoebe's happy with it I think. Or maybe not. Um, okay, so basically another thing I've done is I've put in four holes to connect my mitre saw and I'll just show you how I've done that. I've tapped the holes out with a tapping kit so it sits in there slightly. Get the, uh, the trusty mitre. Just get the bolts. Basically, you line up the bolts. It's not easy to this one handed. Two. Another one. Raise that to get this one in. Only five or one. Need to use a small screwdriver because I can't get the um, the impact gun in there because of the arm of the saw. Turn, turn, turn. So that's nice and secure now. That's not going anywhere. And I know the health and safety bods all um, have a go at me for not having a guard on the mitre saw. Yeah, you know, this is soon going to be replaced anyway. It was a very old mitre saw that I picked up very cheaply for a quick job, but I haven't been there. Uh, still got both hands yet, so and on my fingers. So that's going to be replaced very soon. And then when I do replace it, I'll probably have to re-drill the bolts for the other mitre saw. So also, um, I've decided to um, build this vice device I call it the vice device basically it just allow you to clamp stuff so if I want to clamp a piece of wood in there I just simply drop it and tighten it up from the bottom and it's extremely extremely tight so it's really good just 
demonstrate this screwed on. That's all I've got to hand at the minute. So there you go, that's nice and tight now. <laughs> An added advantage of this is that I can clamp in longer pieces of wood by taking out the two middle bolts and I can use the end bolts to clamp whatever I need to clamp down. Um, An added bonus is that this is quite, um, it's quite square to the ledge so that will allow me to use this as a guide for a jigsaw or a circular saw if I need to do that but personally I don't really use jigsaws I've never really had to use one so let me just open this remove the screwdriver So the handle I got for free, I just found it under the stairs, I'm not sure why it was there, it must have been the old project I was doing, and that comes up and down. Um, I've also decided to build this, just put two screws underneath to clamp this under charging port and obviously the battery will connect in there obviously we'll put that in there and if I want to remove it simply just and off it comes so I'm just going to take the mitre saw off Final, the final bit of the video. And show you the last part that I can use of the uh, of the of the workbench. Put my screw over here. Get rid of the old mighty mitre saw. Uh, now, if, if you're if you're like me and you do a lot of work on your own car, or you do a lot of painting, maybe even a model painting or something, I basically don't want to damage the surface here. So I've got some old DC fix with the backing paper still on it. Any spillages, any greasy parts. It's very wipeable, so it's reusable. And I'll just basically, I'll just clamp it. Just clamp it at the end here under my clamp, which is not going really work very well. Put it one handed. I wish BB would help. Maybe can you just grab that? Okay. Just 
place this down and I'll just parts or if you want to paint the model or whatever you want to paint and that's it hope you enjoy my video and if you have any questions or if you've got any improvements that you think I can make let me know thanks very much for watching and it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from BB. BB can say goodbye. No. Oh. Bye.